Hi. Uh... <laughs> Sorry about that. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Okay. So, this is, well, everybody knows what this is. I want to go ahead and show, uh, up until today, I really thought that we would know prior to this happening. You know, I really thought we'd have prior knowledge, but I really don't think we will. And I want to show why. Now, I want to also say this. Look, I don't want to, I'm, I'm not on here to fight with Mark, with the Groxed. I like that dude. Ha I've been watching his stuff. Um, for a couple years now, I like his. I like his work. I like his stuff. I do. I'm not on here to argue or to fight with him. This is just a friendly disagreement. That's all it is. Um, he seems to think on the back of the fifty dollar bill that it's an aircraft carrier, not the Hoover Dam. Could be. Who knows? So I want to make this clear that I'm not fighting with him. I dig his stuff. He's a teammate, right? We're all looking for the truth. But I want to go ahead and dispute how I do not think that this is going to hit in San Francisco or even on the West Coast. Um, this is not. This does not mean San Francisco. No, nope. this is the uh, the author, the 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 painter's autograph or whatever it is. It's on a bunch of different cards. That does not mean that it's coming to San Francisco like he might think. And so I don't. I just. I don't. I just, just speculation. Okay, I'm not. I'm not fighting with that guy. I'm not nothing. I like Mark. That's it. Um, I happen to think that this is Florida. Let me zoom in a little bit better. This is Florida. This is the Gulf of Mexico, South America. Here's the Atlantic Ocean. All this kind of stuff. I do think this thing is coming and is going to hit somewhere in this area. Maybe the Atlantic. Maybe down here in the Gulf. Maybe over here in the Caribbean. I don't know. But it's not going to be in the West Coast. But once again... Not arguing, not fighting, not calling him a liar, not calling anything. Now, what I want to go ahead and show you, after today, I don't think we we are. Not, not, let me let me retract that statement. I don't think that we won't know. I know we are not going to know when this will happen. Let's rewind the tape. Let's go all the way back all the way back to 2007. Now, this is from the liar extraordinaire NASA, and we're going to get into that in a little bit. The later of the video. Snarticle, as you can see, how about they've been selling this? They've been propaganda for a long time. 2007, near Earth asteroid to pass. Okay, now, well, yeah, you say this is from 2008. It is, but it was this asteroid was discovered in 2007. And here you go. Well, might hit Earth. Okay, now let's actually go to 2008. Here's another one. Might hit Earth. Now let's go to 2009. Here's another one. Another asteroid may hit Earth. Here's another one. Now this is from 2010. Small asteroid zips close by Earth as astronomers watch. Another near miss. Let's do it again. One year later, 2011. Asteroid 2011, close encounter with the Earth. Let's keep going. This is my favorite. I like how they, because I just like the description. House-sized asteroid comes closer to Earth than the moon Friday watch live. Let's keep going. Blast it or paint it. Asteroid to threaten Earth in 2013. I think this was the, uh, yeah, I'm going to say the, the 2012 DA-14. Remember that, oh my goodness, back in March of this year, everybody was talking about, oh, there's a, the astronomer who said we're going to get hit. And I did that debunking video about how that's a bunch of malarkey. I'm getting sick and, are you not getting sick and tired of these whistleblowers coming out and saying, this is going to happen this day? Are you guys done with that? Are you done with that? Can we please? Because what did Patty Brassard say? And I've gotten so much crap over that because I picked on her transgenderness. You mother cussers love to hear what you want to hear. All right, look what I did here. Let's let's talk about what I did. You had a post from his or her, whatever you want to call him or her, a family member who said, look, this guy is not or she is not who he or she says she is. She's a very confused individual. Here's a picture. 
you can see that it's a he, she, we're, you know, a very confused individual, and blah, 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 blah. All I was doing whenever, because people get the, all oh, I get focused on the picture. I was using the picture saying that it was a dude dressed in a girl's clothes to back up the Facebook post that her family, her sister, his sister, posted saying, don't believe him because he is a confused transgender, whatever you want to call it, using uh, hormone therapy, going through whatever, a man trying to be a woman, whatever. Look at the picture so you can see that he is indeed a dude in drag or whatever. And I used the picture to show that the statement was correct. Now, whenever I first heard the cussing audio, the, the cussing interview that he, she was on, um, they, she said, he said, Patty said, that the thing was going to take place, there was going to be a 15 plus magnitude earthquake and all this shit taking place on like August 17th or 18th. Well, look, let's look at the date. Here it is, August 21st, and that hasn't happened. Now, I've heard, well, she moved the date up. Of course, okay? No one is making fun of her transgenderness. I was using the picture to back up the statement made by his or her family. Now, I don't know if that was really his or her family that said that, but the fact of the matter is the original, the original interview I heard set a date and that date has come and gone and it is nothing has happened. Are you all not sick and tired of these freaking whistleblowers that come out and set dates? Now, let's go back. Sorry, I got off a little, a little off track here. So we have seen that at least in 2007, they have been using propaganda, been saying all sorts of stuff that we're going to get hit. Now, let me go into why I'm going to show you why we will not know when it's going to happen. I think it may even be this, but I don't even, I don't even need to, it doesn't matter because I know that this one definitely has got it. Um, let's see here. Within an hour of receiving, let's see, let me zoom in on here. Sorry. Screencast does not work for me. I'm sorry. I did that one time, but for whatever reason, so I apologize for this crappy technology, but whatever. Sorry. Just, if you can't take it, then please click me off and unsubscribe me. Anyway, when an hour, within an hour of receiving the initial data set, JPL predicted that the object would enter the Earth's atmosphere above northern Sudan around 2000, well, around uh, 246 UT on October 7th. As the day progressed and more and more data arrived from the NPC, JPL continued to improve the orbit for 2008 and forwarded updated predictions to NASA headquarters on, af on the afternoon of October 6th. NASA headquarters alerted officials at the National Security Council, the Office of Science and Te Technology, police, the uh, Department of State, uh, the Department. So I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just coming just just to show it, just scanning through here. Uh, blah 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 blah. They go on to talk about how they just they just found these things. They just found them. And then they, as soon as they find them, within an hour, they're letting people know. Here's an even better example of what I'm talking about. I know it's all kind of misconstrued right here. Like, what the hell is this guy talking about? But just bear with me. Aster this is exactly what I mean. Asteroid 2009 VA was discovered by the Catalina Sky Survey. It's the Catalina Cussin' Wine Mixer. Ever seen that stupid Step Brothers movie? The movie's funny, by the way. It's the Catalina Wine Mixer. Discovered by the Catalina Sky Survey about 15 hours before the close approach and was quickly identified by the Minor Planet Center in Cambridge, Massachusetts as an object that would soon pass very close to Earth. Here's my point. You see this? About 15 hours before the close approach. Do you guys remember the and ladies? Do you remember the Russian asteroid meteor that meteor that hit? We woke up to it and it just happened. And as a matter of fact, I posted on a whole bunch of well, not a whole bunch, but I posted, I think it was Realist News or wherever the hell I posted it. I posted and said, "What's good? What good is NASA? They had no prior knowledge of this. According to them, it just kind of happened. Here it is, 15 hours. They find this thing 15 hours before the close approach. What are they going to do? Tell everybody, hey, you got 15 hours to prepare? We're never going to know. Just like we didn't know that the Russia 
thing was going to happen. The Russian meteor, meteor wasn't going to happen. We're never going to know ahead of time. Because the name of the game is to catch you off guard and to catch you by surprise. That's the name of the game. And trust me, I fell into that trap just like everybody else did. You'd love to be able to try to predict these things and to figure out before they're going to happen. You're, you'd love to do it, but we're just we're not in the loop. We're not the people pulling the strings. We're never going to know. And this thing is going to happen. Yes, it absolutely is. And I don't know if it's going to be because of a new planet found in our solar system, question mark. If it's, if it's that orbit, the, the, the orbit of that new planet, the Wormwood, Niburu, wherever the hell you want to call it, that's pulling it in, I have no idea. But the fact of the matter is that that's a very good possibility. Because here's mainstream media telling you that at least it's a possibility, a possibility that there is some huge monstrous planet that moves so quick that telescopes can't catch it. I can't, I mean, I don't know what else the hell to give everybody. I use the Chronicle. Oh, well, that's a, a, a satire website and that's crap. Okay, fine, agreed. I use mainstream media. Oh, well, these guys are a bunch of, don't you know that news stands for North, East, West, and South? That's a bunch of garbage. Okay. And then you use amateur people on regular people using amateur photographers on YouTube who've caught this thing and you put that, oh, that's just a lens flare. Well, what the cuss are you supposed to use then? Here is the sources that everybody knows, is, knows and uses to trust. Here it is right here saying, hey, look, does it mean it's 100% certainty? No. But does it say that it's a possibility? You cussing right it does. For crying out loud. And let's, and let's talk about this bullshit. Oh, you better reload. Thank you. Oh, stop. You are. This is NASA. This is their logo. This is not a stripe. This is not an arrow. This is a lying serpent's tongue. This is a government agency. For crying out loud, if you trust a government agency at this point, then you deserve every bad thing that happens to you and your family. I'm sorry to be so uptight and have such a aggressive tone in my voice but I'm getting sick and tired of people out there who seem to think so much because one second they use the source the mainstream media NASA source to back something up and then whenever you say hey the same source is saying there's a possibility then all of a sudden well they're just inaccurate well you know what you better pick a cussing side of the fence to stand on because you're gonna freaking need it this is a lying serpent tongue and these mother cussers know this thing is coming, whether it be Nibiru, Nibiru, however the freak you pronounce it, Planet X, Wormwood, whatever. Something is coming, and it's going to cause a catastrophic event on this planet. So, this propaganda of this asteroid media hitting or meteor hitting has been around since at least 2007. They're just telling the people with the eyes to see, or I'm sorry, yeah, the eyes, sorry, I thought I said ears first. The eyes to see and the ears to hear, it's coming. You better prepare, and we will never know about it. As much as we like to think, well, it's on this on this holiday, or it's on it's on uh, an 11th day because the Illuminati love th this sort of numerology. We're never going to know. We're never going to know because their plans change all the time. And whatever day they decide to spring it on us is the day it's going to happen. All you can do is prepare beforehand and you're running out of time to prepare. That's it. All these links are going to be below. I'm going to post every one of these cussing links. So you can see how they have thrust this in our consciousness for a long time. Never mind all the movie and movies and TV shows that have come out in the recent years about this junk. So thanks to everybody for watching. It's coming. I don't know what day. I don't know what hour. Nobody does.
but it's coming and it's going to hit. No disrespect, no, 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 none of that stuff towards Mark and the Grox. Not doing that. A difference of opinion, I think he's wrong, but guess what? He thinks I'm wrong, and that's a friendly disagreement. That's all that is. Thank you to my teammates, thank you to my subscribers, and thank you to everybody who understands what the cuss I'm talking about. Bye.